Fourth grade math number eight, rename numbers. What do we mean by rename numbers? Well, we can regroup numbers to rename them. You group them into a larger group of a smaller place value. So, this 30 right here means three tens, right? We could also say it means 30 ones. So we take a larger group, 30, and put it into the smaller place value of ones instead of just three tens. That is how we rename them. The ones place is a smaller place value, and we put more of them in it, okay? So, I want to show you something, and I'm going to use money, which everyone understands, to explain my point. We have one little square here. We have 10 squares here. That's 10, a bar of 10. Here we have a flat of 100, and we have a cube of 1,000, okay? These are no different. These are exactly the same as money. This little one cube is the same thing as a penny. See? It's one cent, right? This 10 is 10 ones. It's like 10 cents or 10 pennies, right? Because penny is just one. It's 10 pennies in, in a dime, right? See? A dollar bill is the same thing as 10 dimes or 100 pennies. And a $10 bill is the same thing as 10 $1 bills, right? It also means 100 dimes or 1,000 pennies. See how we're making the group get larger but putting it into a smaller place value? Well, that's what we're doing today. So, this bar right here of 10 is the same thing as 10 ones, 10 of these. This flat of 100 is the same thing as having 10 of these or 100 of these. A hundred ones. A cube of a thousand is the same thing as having ten one hundreds, ten of these stacked up all on top of each other to form a cube, or a hundred of these tens, or a thousand of these ones. Okay? Let's take a look at this. Our number system, our place values, are called base ten. Base ten means that everything is based off of 10. That's easy, isn't it? When you have 10 ones, you have a 10. When you have 10 tens, you get a 100. See how everything is 10? When you have 10 hundreds, you get a 1,000. When you have 10 thousands, you get 10,000. When you have 10 10 thousands, you get 100,000. When you have 10 100 thousands, you get a million. And it goes on and on and on for infinity, as long as you can name the next place value, gazillions, Googles, whatever, trillions. And it just keeps going on and on and on times by 10. 10 of the next number is the next place value. So in our place value system, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then millions would be over here. Ten ones makes one of these. Ten tens makes one of these. Ten of these makes one of these. Ten of these makes one of these. See how it's working? Ten of these makes one of those. So if you group ten of those, you now have to put a zero in that place value and a one into the next one, right? So the number ten right here, it means one ten and zero ones. Or it could mean 10 ones, 10 pennies. Look at the number 200. It means two hundreds. Whoops, this is supposed to be a zero here, sorry. Or it means 20 tens. 200 is the same thing as saying 20 tens. See how we group it like into this one? It goes like that. 20 tens. It could also be 200 ones. We could also group this into the ones place and just say it's 200 ones. See that? The number 3,000. You could say it's 3,000 or you could say it's 30 hundreds. 
You could also say it's 300 tens, or you could say it's 3,000 ones. See? Let's look at this next number. This is 10 thousands place value, and there's a 5 in it. So that means it's 50,000. 50,000 is the same thing as saying 5 ten thousands, right? We can see that right here. There's 5 ten thousands. We could also say it's 50 thousands and put the 50 into the thousands place value. We can also say it's 500 hundreds. See? 500 hundreds. Or it's 5,000 tens. See? If we cover the other place values, it's 5,000 tens. Or it's 50,000 ones. If you had $50,000 all in $1 bills, you would have 50,000 $1 bills. See? Let's look at this number. This is in the hundred thousands place, and it's an eight. So that's eight hundred thousands. But we could also say it's eighty ten thousands, or eight hundred one thousands. It's eight thousand hundreds. See? Eight thousand hundreds. Or we could say it's eighty thousand tens, or eight hundred thousand ones. See how that works? So what we're doing is we're putting a larger group into a smaller place value. That's what we do when we borrow and we subtract. We regroup the number because that particular column doesn't have enough. If you have 52,000 and you want to take 7,000 away from it, you don't have enough in the 1,000's place value to take a 7 from a 2. So you have to regroup it and take one of the 10's from the 50 and give it to that 2. So it becomes a 4. Now you have to add the 10 and the 2 together and it becomes a 12. And now you could do the subtraction. 12 take away 7 is 5. We drop down the 4 and then we've regrouped our numbers. So it's really important to be able to understand how numbers can be regrouped. One of the problems with the English language is the way we call our place values 10's hundreds, thousands. In Japan, and even in Spanish, you don't say 20, you say two tens. In Japanese, they say two tens. And their children, from the beginning of speaking, understand that 20 means two tens, 30 means three tens. In our English language, we just say 30, and it doesn't have any meaning for our children that it means three tens and zero ones. So that's one thing we've got going against us. So one of the most important things we can do is to understand place value, and you'll be better in math than someone else. Make sure you understand how these all break down. If you have to watch the video again, do so. You might even get some numbers on your own and make yourself a little chart, and try to see if you can do this. Can you change five ten thousands into fifty thousands or five hundred hundreds? or 5,000 tens or 50,000 ones. Can you do that? Can you find some numbers? And you don't have to have zeros here. You could put ones in. It's just going to make the name of the number longer. That's all. If you want to keep it simple, just keep zeros in the other place values. But I bet you could do it. If you can understand your place values, and if you understand money, you're, you're going to be okay. So keep up the good work, and try to remember what all the place values mean, and how 10 of that place value takes you to the next place value. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye!